What's going on guys? It's your boy Coach Taz back with another success tip video and today I want to talk about calories versus tracking your macros. The whole inspiration behind this topic today is because I had a conversation with a complete stranger over Twitter. We had a great dialogue going on with a little bit of sarcasm thrown in there that we we're thrown at each other, but it was all in good fun and we were passing along some knowledge bombs in the middle of our sa sarcasm. So the topic or the tweet that I sent out was understanding the importance of calories in versus calories out and why calories are still king. I'm going to repeat that. Calories are still king. In the world that we live in, me obviously, I live in the United States of America. There's a humongous uh, obesity epidemic going on and in a world going bananas over health documentaries and different fad gimmick diets and the importance of eating healthy and uh, low carb this, high fat that, paleo this, whole 30 that. There's so much information going out there that is very easy to forget the fundamentals and the foundation of what weight loss in specific, what it really is, because weight loss is what I'm specifically talking about in this video. And just so you guys know, before everybody starts sending out hate comments, the people that I am speaking to through this screen, through this video, I am speaking to the general population, the people that live not just in the United States, but worldwide, and they're facing up against this obesity epidemic that's been going on for several decades now, as the, uh, the level of obesity increases every single year. Speaking to the general population, once again, to the individuals that want to fight obesity and lose a couple pounds, and just their main goal is longevity. It's not performance-based goals. It's more cosmetic. They want to feel comfortable in their own skin and they want to live long, healthy, prosperous lives so they can see their grandkids grow up and their great-grandkids grow up, etc. So with all that being said, remember that calories are still king, but don't forget that the quality of food is important too. And now there's a debate going on in our society on you have to eat healthy foods. Healthy foods this, healthy foods that. Guys, this is going to go against the norm, but out of all the research I've done, out of the, the mentorships that I've been a part in, of all the studies and through my own experience with training clients, calories are still king. They're number one. You have to track your calories and understand what your caloric intake for your goals and what your lifestyle and activity level should be. That is key. Understanding your activity level. Without going into too much detail because I don't want to lengthen this video too much, but just understand if calories are are a one, they're the top priority when it is tracking your food intake and your calories in versus calories out, your total caloric intake is still the top dog with the quality of the food that you digest is typically like a 1A, call it a 1B if you, you're really um, OCD about it, but calories are number one or a 1A, the quality of food is a 1B. B, just because nobody can fight the fact that if somebody with a very little activity level, just to provide a little bit of detail, if you digest 5,000, 10,000 calories a day worth of healthy food, if you digest 10,000 calories a day of apples and salads and different fruits and protein sources and you know beef and whatever it is that you like to eat, if it is healthy food, if you're digesting that amount of ca calories and you're not burning it off, you're still going to gain weight no matter what the quality of food that is. That's just research and that's just fact-based. That's, that's facts. You can't argue with that. There's nobody with any type of background or educational background that can debate that. Going back to the tweet that I sent out was understanding the importance that calories are a king. And this individual decided to reply back to me. It was like, oh, does that mean you, you, with your professional knowledge, you can just eat McDonald's and eat Big Macs as long as you're under your caloric intake? 
Well, if you're not really trying to treat your heart and your liver too good, you can, yes, still lose weight because there are people, yeah, calm down, I said you can still lose weight, but wait before you start hitting me with your pitchforks. If you guys have and you're burning more calories and you're sending more calories out for energy than you're taking in, you can have a healthy breakfast and a healthy dinner, but if you have somebody that's a high activity level and then you go and you have a Big Mac and you go then go to a CrossFit class and then you're going to a, uh, you work at, as a construction worker, I'm just throwing out examples as I'm going. Um, but you're still going to burn off all those calories that you took in. And there are people out there that are still losing a lot of weight. Now, when you start to fine tune and you start to plateau and then you got to really fine tune your diet to lose that final four, five, six, seven pounds of body fat that you've been holding on to, that's really hard to get off then that's when you start changing around your macros and the quality of food and things like that. But I don't want anybody to go too far off topic and lose the general purpose of this video. And that is strictly watch your calories, get with an expert that understands caloric intake and calories in versus calories out, and just get active. Whatever it is that the hell that you're eating, just get off off the couch, stop watching YouTube videos, and go walk around your block and burn some calories. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it at that. If you guys have any questions or you want to debate about this further, I'm always open to conversations as long as they're healthy conversations. So this is your boy Coach Taz with CoachTaz.com with another success tip video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like this video, it really does support the channel and helps us grow so we can reach a larger audience. And please remember, share it if you found this video useful. And once again, peace out. Bye, guys.